हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand sensors, actuators, and light-emitting diode. First, let us understand what is a sensor. Sensor is a transducer which converts energy from one form to another form. So, sensor is a transducer that converts energy from one form to another form. so this energy conversion from one form to another form is done for any measurement or control purpose so sensor is a transducer that converts energy from one form to another form for measurement or control purpose example of sensor is accelerometer and we can give one more example as ambient light sensor which is als both these sensors are used in smart wearable devices here accelerometer counts the number of steps and ambient light sensor is used to measure the light intensity now let us understand actuators actuators are output devices actuators or transducer device it can be mechanical or electrical device this actuator converts signals to corresponding physical action so actuators are usually output devices it is a transducer device which can be mechanical or electrical device this actuators converts signal to corresponding physical actions example of actuator is ambient light sensor this ambient light sensor detects surrounding light and it uses the actuator circuit to adjust the brightness of the screen in smart devices so example of actuator is ambient light sensor that detects the surrounding light and uses the actuator circuit to adjust the brightness of the screen of smart devices now let us understand light emitting diode which is commonly known as led led is an important output device which is used for visual indication so we can use led for visual indication which is an very important output device for example presence of power battery low charging of battery etc so led is a very important output device which is used for visual indication in any embedded system example of visual indication is we can use led to indicate presence of power battery low charging of battery etc led is a pn junction diode which consist of anode which is indicated by a and cathode which is indicated by k so pn junction diode consist of two terminals anode and cathode so anode is represented by a and cathode is represented by k so figure b represents the symbol of led here you can see it is having two terminals anode and cathode here anode should always be connected to positive terminal of an battery or supply voltage and cathode should always be connected to negative terminal of supply voltage so anode should be connected to positive terminal of battery and cathode should be connected to negative terminal of battery here figure a shows the led interface a resistor is used to limit the current flow through the led so we can use resistor to limit the current flowing through led so resistor is used to limit the current flowing through led led can be interfaced with microcontroller in two ways in the first way anode is directly interfaced or directly connected to port pin so led can be interfaced with microcontroller in two ways in the first type 
anode is directly connected or it is directly interfaced to port pin of the microcontroller. So, this port pin will drive the LED. So, if we say port pin will drive the LED which means the port pin will source current to the LED when port pin is logic 1. So, anode is directly connected to port pin of microcontroller. Port pin will drive the LED. If we say drive the LED, which means port pin will source the current, it will provide the current to LED when port pin is logic 1. Since the port pin source the current to LED, the brightness of LED might not be at required level. Since port pin is providing the current to LED, this current might not be sufficient to obtain the required brightness of the LED. Second way in which the LED is interfaced with microcontroller is cathode of LED is connected to port pin of the microcontroller. So, second way is cathode of LED is connected to port pin of microcontroller and anode is connected to power supply through a resistor. So, cathode of LED is connected to port pin of microcontroller and anode terminal of LED is connected to power supply through a resistor. Since cathode is connected to LED of port pin of microcontroller, the LED will turn on when port pin is logic 0. So, if we say logic 0 which is logic low. So, LED will turn on when port pin is logic 0. Here port pin will sink current. So, in the first case port pin will source the current, it will provide the current. In the second case the port pin will sink the current. Since anode terminal is connected to power supply, the brightness of LED is high compared to the first case. So, the brightness of LED is high compared to the first case because anode is directly connected to the source of the, the power supply. This is about sensors, actuators and LEDs. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.